let me explain what readability statistics uh, looks like. So this is the prompt that you will get at the end of spelling and grammar checks uh, for your documents where the Flesh Kincaid app has previously been turned on. So at the end of each uh, spelling and grammar check, you will normally get a doc stats uh, or a readability stats uh, summary at the end of each uh, spell check. Okay, so on the first portion, you will see that um, you will have a set of counts. So this is just a uh, this is just a, a reading of the number of words. Then the computer will also try to count the number of characters, and then number of paragraphs, and then number of sentences. Note that the computer is not actually reading your document, but it is counting it based on a certain set of pre-programmed rules. And then based on these counts, uh, there are what you call averages. So I'm going to color. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to color these uh, relationships so that you can locate them. So the first, the first average is um, sentence per paragraph. So if you try to take a look at that, just follow uh, the counts, sentence per paragraph. Okay, so that's three divided by three will give you one. Okay, next. If you want to check uh, words per sentence, I'm going to color that green. All right. So it's words per sentence. Okay. So that's 100 divided by 3. That gives you 33.3. Okay. And then the next one is characters per word. So if you try to, if you look at characters per word, that's 5.7. That's characters divided by words. So 584 divided by 100 gives you roughly uh, 5.7. Okay, so that's how to work the averages uh, section. Next, uh, how to read readability, the readability portion of the doc stats. First is passive sentences. So if you try to take a look at passive sentences, uh, what it simply means is that how many percent of the documents did you write that will tend to be uh, to not follow the SVO format, the subject verb and object format. If that's zero, so that means everything is written in SVO. So that's the, re that's the reason why um, the suggestion is just zero passive sentences means write in the active voice. And then the reading is, is, uh, is a number that uh, tends to, to be a, an upward number. So higher is better. Okay. So here, the score that uh, we should be aiming for is a minimum of 60. All right. But it also says that the higher it is, uh, the easier it is, it, it becomes uh, to read. And then uh, the grade level uh, also means that the lower number is the better number. So there's an inverse relationship between reading ease and the flesh Kincaid grade level. So as your grade Kincaid score uh, goes down, then you expect that your reading ease also approaches 100. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a range of 8 to 10 for typical business documents. All right, so if you ask me which ones affect uh, the scores here. Now, what to gun for will be uh, as much as possible, take a look at sentences per paragraph. Okay, try to gun for uh, a number that is less than 10. Oh, the, it's the other way around. Let me erase that. It's the words per sentence. That's the one that's supposed to be less than 10. And then the characters per word, try as much as possible. That's at 5.7 divided by 2. Um, you should gun for 2.0 to 2.5. Okay? So numerically speaking, that's where we should be gunning for. Okay? So just a bit of uh, 
feedback around this 33.3, what it simply says here is, for example, if you're using the SVO as a format, so this 33, uh, this 33.3 tends to be a very long sentence for an SVO. And what it simply means is that you can start uh, separating these long sentences into very short ones. And I'd say that a good, um, a good number might be eight. So if you try to take a look at uh, one sentence can have um, about eight words. And so uh, instead of uh, a long sentence that has 33 words, what you can do is divide that by eight. So you can actually split the one long sentence of 33 words into uh, four short uh, sentences. Okay, so that ends the lecture for uh, the quick explanation on readability statistics. Thank you.